This is called a rocket roaster. It's a, a charcoal cooker, roaster. Uh, here's what it looks like on the inside. This is the, the name of it. And I've never used it. A friend of mine gave it to me. He got it for Christmas and they just never got around to using it and they're running out of space. So he gave it to me. And uh, I'm going to try it. I got about a, oh, three and a half, four pound uh, roast over there. And uh, I'm going to get this thing going and see if it'll cook it. And it says to cook it for about two and a half hours if the temperature outside is 60 degrees or higher. So uh, I'm going to give this about three hours. Uh, let me get that meat ready and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, that's what the meat looks like in its little inner cage. And these were some uh, cherry flavored uh, smoking pellets that uh, you put down in the bottom of this thing underneath the drip tray. And uh, I'm going to lower this down in there and put some charcoal around it and light it up and see if it'll go three hours. That rooster's on his last legs. He might be finding himself in here if he don't quit attacking me. Alright, it's been three hours. And, uh... Oh, yeah, it's still... Still warm. Alright, I'm gonna... I got some oven mitts. I'm gonna take the top off. And then take the little, uh, cage that the meat's sitting on and set it over here. Maybe I'll see if I can set you up where you can see the process. Yeah. It's like 28 degrees out. And, uh... I'm barefoot. <laughs> Might be 30. Oh. It looks kind of good, but it looks a little bit dry. Hey, no, don't you come out here. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that has got a nice, I'm going to set this down, and I will show you what it looks like. That is a good looking hunk of meat right there. The true test is going to be if it's uh, done all the way through and not dry, because uh I hate dry meat, so let's let me look down in here and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty good amount of juice in there. Alright. I'm gonna uh, take this off and bring it inside and cut it open. Oh yeah, it's done and delicious. The rocket roaster. Pretty neat little little thing, uh. I may try uh, a bird. It comes with another cage that you can put in there to put a uh, uh, big roaster chicken in there, bacon chicken. Uh, I'll try that. And uh, next, I want to show you another way of cooking. I'm not going to use it now. Uh, I'm going to stop and go in the bedroom. I'll, be, I'll turn you on in just a second. Okay, this is called the, uh, the Burton lunchbox stove I've had it for a while and basically it looks like a lunchbox and this is what you cook in I've cooked meatloaf in these I've cooked sto uh, uh, stews in this it's 12 volt back when we were over the road my wife and I we cooked in this thing all the time and I've had this thing since 1997 there's no telling how many meals we've cooked in this. Still works. And uh, it's sort of like a, one of our emergency backup methods of cooking. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Prepper stock. It's probably going to take me about seven hours to get from my house to prepper stock. Uh, before I leave, I'm going to start a stew in this and plug it in. And when I get to prepper stock, whoever's there is welcome to a bite of my stew. Okay, that was the rocket roaster I showed you. And uh, I've got another stove. Where is it?
Oh well, I'll, I'll show it to you. That's that's a whole nother video. Thanks for watching.